Hey guys, it's Spacey Sims, and we are back with more Daidoku. And now we're hanging out with Shiratsuki and Coco. <laughs> and yeah, that's where we are. When we left, I noticed many people approaching Shiratsuki and Coco. Just earlier, two little Kitsune ran up to Coco and were giggling with him. You two seem well respected around here. Kikitsune is known for being friendly. As long as Tanuki don't show, they are peaceful. Quarrels are solved through feats of trickery. There's actually a referee for them. Spacey, there's a lot. They're a lot scarier than they look. I can't do the two of them together because going back and forth between the Irish accent and the Lupin voice is really fucking difficult. You, you wouldn't think it is, but it is. Tukitsugu, do not lie. She knows exactly how he looks. Not scary. You're just used to it, but hey, that's... You were lucky to encounter him on your first day. Shu! Orochi! Ah! I love our little glasses, boy. Look at him. He's so lovely. Look at Shu's face. What? That is just... That is, <laughs> just looks ridiculous. Sammy called out, and the tall man in glasses and a younger Ayakashi looked toward us. The tall man in glasses could have a very nice accent. Here you go, dear. Tut tut, Charlie Ho, come come. <laughs> Cause he's older, you know. What's he like? Twenty six. Uh, you know, he's probably like twenty six thousand years old. But like, you know, in like normal games, like we're like eighteen, and everybody else like they're old if they're twenty two. They're basically dead. He caught us. Of course he would. We're on the main street. <laughs> they look like we were bothering them. Some Ayakashi aren't fond of Ayakashi Mori. I can't blame you for not wanting to get caught. I got a new hire today, though. Just say hi. I rushed next to Sammy as he said that. Ugh. So Shu being the little punk bitch is kind of what I expected of him, sort of, you know. Well, I expected him to be a little more like, okay, like, whatever, sure, fine. But, like, he's like, uh, whatever. God. <laughs> anyway. My name is Orochi. And this here is Shu. We're Serpent Ayakashi. Serpent Ayakashi. Sister. <laughs> uh, if you're new here, it's not going to make any sense. But everybody else knows. <laughs> Just can't. You can slither the sister. Hello, I'm Spacey Akitsu. Akitsu? Akitsu? I don't know, I keep saying her name wrong, but whatever. Orochi was very polite, but Shu refused to look at us. He really doesn't want to be here. I wonder how many Ayakashi are like this. It's interesting, yeah, because Orochi has, like, snake eyes, so his, like, his pupil is like a snake pupil. And yet Shu's really isn't. Huh. Are we good? And before we could answer, he walked off. My apologies. He is a very shy person. Uh, don't be afraid to say hi when you see us next. Next. <laughs> I feel like I should slither his words when he talks. Uh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna forget, though. Orochi bowed at us and walked away. His tone was soft, but something in his eyes felt so cold. Oh, I mean, he's a snake, so... Uh. Shiratsuki's familiar grin slowly faded as he walked toward me. And don't be fooled by his soft nature. Who knows what he's actually thinking? He's the glasses character, though, so, like, he's got glasses. I love him. And he's probably shady and gonna stab me, but, I mean, so say me, so, whatever. <laughs> Every one of you is gonna fucking try to kill me. I actually trust Shiratsuki not to try and kill me. He's just trying to try to romance the pants off me. That's just, you know. But he could try to stab me. I don't know. I don't trust anybody anymore. These games have taught me to not trust. I don't know. What does he mean? I looked at Yakumo. There are th three districts in power in Sukuratani. Kikutsuni, Makatsui, Amatsuna. But there's a fourth, Mitsuchi. They claim to be from there. Mitsuchi? 
Mitsuchi, a group of Ayakashi with no sector, led by Shu. They have strongholds around Sakuratania, but their locations are totally unknown. Oh, oh, they're the usurpers! I get it. Okay, I see what's happening here. Probably not at all. I'm just pretending. They claim? When you come to Sakuratania, you get divided up in Nakakuni, and you're told where you live. I got word that they don't have an address. We've been keeping records of the addresses of the Ayakashi for about ten years now. We're still gathering and updating documents. So Kuratani has a long history. I can't fathom how high these piles of paper must be stacked. You mean to say that despite all of that data, you don't have any information on them? Yep, we have witness reports here and there, but pretty much nothing else. We don't know where they're from, where they live. It's all a mystery. It would be crazy if we found out that they're living right under the noses of the Shires. We know every nook and cranny of, cranny of Kikutsune. I think. <laughs> Coco, I love you. We know everything. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Shit. True. If there's a place I do not know about, then I'm not doing my job as a Shire. The same goes for Makatsui and Amatsuda. If none of the Shirais are aware, then it might mean a spell is being used to hide their location. And concealing your hideout would take a pretty big spell. I'd like to think you'd notice that. Oh my god, my hip hurts. Oh, it really does. Oh, there we go. It's just like popped in the room. Like, it's weird. We conduct our rounds and report where Ayakashi are living to the Ayakashi Morty. We may have fun from time to time, but it doesn't mean we don't work. We have meetings and debriefings often. We leave the Ayakashi to the Ayakashi as often as possible. Elderly Ayakashi who have been around for a long time shouldn't whine at us. Ayakashi cannot be elderly. Oh, he said that on purpose. Sammy really likes to poke fun at everyone. I tried to think of a comparison between how things work in Sakuratani and how things are governed in the real world. They're self-governed, but the Ayakashi Mori monitor and guide them from Nakakuni. If you think of Sakuratani as one country, then the three Ayakashi sectors are like states. Is our relationship to them kind of like the one between state and, f and federal governments? I'm not sure. We leave affairs to the Shires. As far as territories or jurisdiction goes, we Ayakashi Mori watch over all of Sakuratani. That's true, but we're less of a political organization and more like law enforcement. Why are you loafing around my store? If you'll not purchase anything, be gone. I don't know what she looks like, so I just need... <gasps> oh my god, she's so... Oh my... Girl! Girl! Jesus, I was like, she's so pretty! Holy crap, boobs! She's so pretty, though. I don't think she should have, like, the voice I gave her, but anyway... Her voice was like one from an ancient drama. Maybe that is fine. As always, you show me no mercy, Tamamo. Tamao. Tamamo. It is Tamamo. Wow. I don't know why I could not pronounce her name for a second. I can't pronounce anything in here. Good luck. Me? Showing mercy? Don't make me laugh. Madam. A customer. Tokitsugu and Tadashi and... My, my. This was... The one Shiratsuki called Tamamo. She was a glamorous woman in a kimono who was staring at me with glee. Nice to meet you. I'm Space Yakitsu. I am the head of the store. Tamamo, the pleasure is truly mine. She does have an older voice than she looks, but like, whatever. It's just the voice. It's just, I can't get rid of it now. She stroked my cheeks with graceful hands. Oh, um, uh. Her behavior caught me by surprise, but she only smiled at me. Would you care to stay for some tea? Shiratsuki and Coco were kind enough to bring me here, so if it's not too much trouble, I'd be happy to join you. That's right. Coco and I brought her. Shiro, thank you for running errands. I'll be speaking with Shino now. I think he meant spa she meant Spacey, because I think Shino was our original name. So, Errands! A fine job, Shiro. Here, take this as your reward. She handed him a small wrapped item. Thank you. Hey, wait! 
Why are you treating me like a child? He's not talking like an old man anymore. I wonder if he does that on purpose. Ah! Oh, my god! She is so fucking cute! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! She should not have the cutest fucking face and a body like, like, good damn girl, stop it. Like, she's wearing, like, the sexiest fucking dress ever, and she's just like, hi! Huh. Anyway. Hey, Tamamo! You got any new hair accessories? I fucking love her, though. She's fucking adorable. Kinka. <laughs> oh, Kinka, I'm glad you're here. Why don't you have tea with me and Spacey? Not Chino. They didn't, they didn't fix her thing, but anyway. Spacey? It's not Chino, it's me. They totally did, they kind of fucked this part up and put the wrong name in, but... That's me! I'm a new Ayakashimori. It's a pleasure to meet you! Meow! Oh! Yakumo's new junior! Oh my god! <laughs> I was being hugged before I could blink. I love her, she's so cute. I just want a pet her head. Oh... Uh... So happy! I haven't seen a woman in ages! What a difference from how she greets Tadashi. It don't drag me into this! You're really rubbing it in, aren't you? Now, Kinka, are the new hires at a loss on what to do? Kinka let go of me suddenly. <laughs> she says me apologize! I me apologize! It made me really happy. Oh, God, I love her. I love her so much. I know. Akinka, calm down. Meow? Oh, Yakumo, see me. Didn't see you there. You finally noticed. I feel like, does Tadashi, is like he in love with her because I just, for some reason, I'm like, I just want them to be in love. It's tough getting between two girls. Good luck with a new rival, buddy. I told you, please stop saying- Huh? <laughs> Seeing Yakumo cut himself off abruptly, I looked around and saw a large commotion developing. There's a crowd of people over there. If something's going on. Let's check it out. Come on, gang, let's go! <laughs> a child? At the center of the commotion was a small child being picked up by an oni. It seems like the- Oh my god. Sa Shiki Warashi. Zashiki Warashi. I please don't tell. I please do not make me read Zashiki Warashi again because that's too much. Anyway, it seems like the Zashiki Warashi did something. Zashiki Warashi. Wow, I can't do that in a voice. I can read it like Zashiki Warashi, but like if I have to say like Zashiki Warashi, it's really fucking hard. I don't know. I bet he followed Okaro to pull some pranks. Oh. I'm wondering if that's the other dude that we saw. Like, oh, whatever. I'm looking down, man. Anyway. There stood Akuro as if to confirm Sami's theory. So who's the one grabbing the Zashiki Warashi? No, wait. Yeah, Ibaragi and Shuten were the other two. Okay, I'm very confused. I'm going to need to see what's happening. Because those were the two that were talking to Yakumo. Anyway. That's Ibaragi. I assume Sh Shuten is somewhere nearby, too. Hey, if it isn't Hiro and Takao, everyone's here. They shook their heads as they approached. I was wondering what was going on. Childish. I want to go home. You idiot. If I'm here, you should be, too. And then you should go home, too, Takao. You little... <laughs> <laughs> Some things never change. Visiting the madam's store. It's right there. Thanks. I feel like they have the same voice now. What the hell? Anyway, even if he comes on his own, he complains. I shook my head at Hira, who was dragging his heels. Akura noticed us and brought over Ibaragi and the Z Zashiki Warashi. Yeah, because that's him. Yeah, so is... Zashiki Warashi, the dude that he was in the thing? In the izakaya? Anyway. I'm sorry for the trouble. 
The Zashiki Warashi wanted to play with my tails. How many tails do you have? Oh. The child is the Zashiki Warashi where we said the child and they were playing and that's what... Okay, I get what's happening now. It's really just hard because they don't really explain. They're like, there's a child and an Oni and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, look, there's... All the all these other characters, and you're like, but what is actually what's a zashiki warashi? And I'm supposed to assume it's the child, but then you were talking about they were grabbing the zashiki warashi, and I'm like, are, is that the bad guy that's harassing the child? Like, what's happening? Like, it's until now. I just it's not me, is it? That I just feel like certain scenarios that are happening are not properly explained, and it's not like you see it, you know, or like, oh hey. There's a child being picked up by an Oni. Wait, it's Akuto. And you're like, okay, what's happening? It's like, you. it's all of a sudden like, there's Akuto and, Ib and this guy and that guy. And then there's Hira and then Takao and all these people are here. And then this is happening. And then we talk to them. And then all of a sudden this is happening. And then he's like, oh, that kid wanted to play with my tails. And you're like, oh, oh, okay. Five minutes ago, I finally get what's fuck going on. So like, I just, I like this game so far, but I think I don't like that. Where there's just stuff happening and you're reading and you're like, uh, and then it's like five minutes later that you're like, oh, I don't know if I'm just really stupid right now or if this is just fucking confusing. I don't know. I, it just, I could just be really stupid right now. Like maybe my brain is just not functioning. Okay. It's quite possible, but I, I just feel like the game is just really shitty at explaining stuff. Like things happen and you're like, I don't know. And then you get the end, but it's like, I uh, I don't know. You will let me know when you get to this. If you're like, no, I'm really fucking confused too until this happened. Or, no, it's just you. You're just an idiot. But just be prepared for the next couple of weeks that I'm going to be confused by fucking everything. Because, like, I'm dealing with a lot of stress and shit. So, like, maybe it's just making me dumb. I don't know. Or I'm just not good at following this game. But I like it. But it's very confusing. It's like... Again, I don't know if it's me, but uh, I can see where, like, it might turn people off if it's just this computer. You're like, I don't never know what's going on. Like, I guess I'm just here to look at, I, I don't know. You know? Because there's just, this is like now the second time this has happened. Where I've just been like, what? <laughs> or, or it's at least the second time I've been confused and then been like, oh, now I get what they were saying. And there could have been other shit in the first couple of parts that were like that. And I just never caught on. And I was just like, I just don't get it. So I'm just going to keep going. I don't know. Like, this just says something. I don't know. Anyway, you let me know. Is it just me? Or were you also like, the fuck is happening? Unless you played the game already. And then we're like, no, I knew what was happening because I was also in the same boat wondering what the fuck was happening. And then you get here and then you're like, oh, were you also confused at any point? <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Good, good. And nothing to worry about then. Thank you. You're all here. Brother. I love him. He's so pretty. Ibaragi, this person here is Sami and Yakumo's colleague. Say hello. And nice to meet you. I'm Ibaragi. Sorry about the whole Zashiki Warashi situation. The Shikiwarashi situation. I gotta give him sort of a voice. I don't know. They're all kind of similar, but whatever. I'm Spacey Akitsu. I'm just glad it didn't get out of control. I thought we need to use spells, like, for the new higher initiation. Please, God, I hope not. Those are so hard. <laughs> I feel like the only reason I managed... What? What buttons am I pushing? Was because it was like, we're gonna get put on stupid mode. And I the other ones are gonna go ten times faster, and I'm just... We're gonna... I, look, I do not work well under pressure. Sometimes, but not when it's, like, this kind of pressure, like, I'm on stage. Even though I'm just recording it, I'm recording. And that's, like, a pressure that I don't need. I do this for fun. But I mean, like, oh, I hit the right buttons! It just makes it hard. Like, if I were doing it myself, it wouldn't be half as difficult. Because I wouldn't have the performance anxiety of people watching me, even though I could just stop, record it properly, and then edit it together. But, like, I'm not going to do that. So, it's going to watch me panic. As if in real time. Anyway. I thought we need to use spells, blah, blah, blah. Okay, anyway. Uh, but I was relieved to know that the Ayakashi were capable of problem solving. Good, so I don't have to do the clicky thingy, but they'll make me do it anyway. Sounded like a lot of bickering. I think I could handle that much if it happened again. We weren't playing around. Surprised by the sudden voice, I turned around to see Hira looking as sluggish as always. 
It was the Zashiki Wawashi, Zashiki Warashi this time, uh, but there are many short-tempered Ayakashi. It won't always be so easy to resolve. And the other day, a home in Amatsuna was pretty much blasted away. Kikutsune has a big hole in the road. Oh god. <laughs> too many voices. <laughs> There's too many of them! I love my side boys, but fuck all of you. It's too hard. I do love all of them. I think Takao is my favorite in this group, though. Like, Ibaragi did, like, he was, like, absolutely beautiful in the beginning, but Takao has just kind of one-upped it. There's something just, like, there's something soothing about his color palette and just him in general. I'm just like, ah, oh, I like him. He's so sweet. Although Coco is, like, a close second because he's just fucking adorable. Okay, like, yeah, whatever. Anyway. Who exactly made the hole? I want to borrow them for excavation in Makatsuhi. A uh, hole in the road? Excavation? Spell side effects. A damage is inevitable. Uh, fixing things that have broken is a handful. Makatsui even uses them to carve out mountains. It was a lot more serious than I thought. Calling it child's play might have been naive. Hey, are you lonely? I'll be your Shikigami. I am the best nine-tailed fox of all the Kitsune. It's like, you're the... Shire or Shire or whatever the fuck it's supposed to be. And then and you have other responsibilities, but you really just want to hang around with me, don't you? It's kind of cute. Can't say no. I was taken aback by Shiratsuki's sudden proposal. Again. <laughs> Wait, am I being teased right now? In front of two Ayakashi Mori, no less. I don't think the request is fake, but it does feel a little exaggerated. I feel like everything Shiratsuki says is exaggerated. It's the Lupin voice. Kikutsune Shirai wants to be the newbie Shikigami, huh? What kind of joke is this? Oh, you'd say yes if I wasn't the Shirai. I didn't say that. Besides, I have Kyoya. Koya. Koya. I don't want to why I want to say Kyoya. It's Koya. I don't know why I can't read the cat's name right. Anyway. Some Ayakashi Mori have additional Shikigami. Yep. Seniors in Sakuratani have hired a few Shikigami, if memory serves me right. Hired? Shikigami of employment contracts? Shikigami don't have employment contracts. It's just useful to have a Shikigami around who's knowledgeable about Sakuratani. I wonder how he was able to read my mind. It's not reading your mind, I can just read your face. You're reading my mind, aren't you? A little bit. Sammy says it like it'd been an easy task. But during training, I learned how hard it would be on a practitioner to have multiple Shikigami. It's clear to see how powerful Seimi and Yakumo must be as practitioners. I have little choice if I don't want to get lost, but Tokitsugu's got a real knack for that stuff. Lost? So you sign a contract for that? They're Kuni, the smaller Oni. They're in various locations, so you can get more information aside from directions. I see. I questioned the personal benefit of a contract, but I did make one with Okoya during my training. So, will you sign one with me? I love this flirty little fox. No, I'm a new hire, not a seasoned Ayakashi Mori who can sign a contract with you right now. <laughs> this is where Sammy jumps in. Actually, you can sign a contract with whatever, whoever you want. In fact, you can do it with everybody here. Shut up, Sammy Jesus! <laughs> He would do it just to fuck with us. Uh-huh. You mean you would if you could. I really don't think it's good for you to be out here mindlessly signing contracts either. So even if I could, I wouldn't. I do like that mentality. I was worried I'd be in trouble for rejecting him, but he complimented me. That was surprising. He just likes that we're playing hard to get. Ishiro, your tail. A quiet, Coco. As I started to wonder what was wrong with his tail, Yakumo shouted as he looked at the clock. Your tail, his tail is like wagon. He's a happy little foxy. Whoa, look at the time! Well, I guess we can't teach her about the paperwork. Sammy laughed as he checked his watch. Why didn't you say something sooner? Well, I'm just here to help, Tadashi. Now this was all you. You need to learn some time management. That's a good point, but... <laughs> Yakumo just seems... I love him, but he seems a little like... You're like, oh, Yakumo. It's, he's, it's always going to be like a... 
Oh, honey. <laughs> Just feel like he's really reliable. Is he, though? I mean, I guess he's probably more reliable than he sometimes seems. He <laughs> Just... Like, you have no time at- Oh my god, no! Oh shit! It's like... Seem a little- Not like klutzy, but kind of like a little klutzy. Just a little absent-minded. Just a little bit. You know. Perhaps it's time I also return to Makatsuhi. Yes, brother. It's time for you, too. The Zashiki Warashi that was tied up seemed dissatisfied, but it looked kind of cute. Sorry it's been so hectic, everyone. I do look forward to working with all of you. I bowed to them before leaving Kikutsune. Chapter two? Nope. Still at chapter one. <sighs> Long day's end. My first day of excitement ended, and I finally arrived at my dorm room with heavy feet. Wow, I'm exhausted. My anxiety definitely wore me out. Oh, I thought we were back in our office. And I was like, oh, look, our office is cute. It's even got like a little kitchen. Nope, this is just where I live. How cute. Um, So I I guess because, okay, so we've got a dorm room. We stay here and we could go back to the real world, but we don't really need like. It's not like, oh, okay, I got a job. It's like, you got a job and we also give you an apartment. Cool. You know? My anxiety definitely wore me out. Don't I feel that? Except for when you go, you pass out on the couch. You're like, I'm falling asleep on the couch at 7 o'clock at night. And then you go to bed and then like 2 o'clock in the morning, you're like, okay, so like I'm wide awake and I'm thinking of all these things that I need to do and why can't I just sleep? Nope. Gotta do this. Gotta do that. Oh my God. What about this? Oh my God. And then you fall asleep and then your alarm goes off and you're like, son of a bitch. Stress is not fun anyway. No. I sunk into the sofa and looked around the quiet room. It's like good stress, though. I mean, like, it's just moving. Like, I don't like the whole packing process and moving process and doing this process and doing that process. But, like, everything has been signed. Actually, today, as I'm recording, not as you're watching. Everything has been signed. I just have to do the walkthrough and, like, whatever and get the keys. And then I just have to make sure. But it's going to be one of those over the next couple weeks. It's like, I got to call every fucking thing. And do every fucking sir. I gotta call this a place and turn on this, and then I gotta go here and turn on that, and then I gotta do this. Like, oh, uh, and then I gotta change my address and stuff. Like uh, I just don't wanna. <laughs> I just want that all to be over with. And then I gotta move, and I gotta get all my shit, and then it's gonna take me forever to unpack, and it's like, oh my god. <laughs> the unpacking won't be too bad, you know what I mean? Because it'll be like kind of fun to put your stuff away and stuff like, ooh, I'm gonna unpack and put the shelf away or whatever. Like, but it's just going to be like I've been living in boxes for like a year. <laughs> By the time like I unpack and everything's done, I'll be like, it's been 84 years. But like I'm allowed to paint if I want to paint and like, you know, so that's pretty cool. I'm excited about that. I'm all, but I'm also like, I just really hate asking the poor dude. Like, I can like put it up. Like when I like signed the lease, I was like, I can like put stuff on the walls, right? Because every single lease is like, oh, nothing on the walls. And he's like, yeah, no, that's fine. I'm like, I'm well aware that like when I move out, like you patch the fucking holes, if you put holes on the walls, or like if you paint. He, well, he was like, yeah, but not like a red wall that you're gonna leave me with. And I'm like, well, I was gonna use lime green, but like I think I may have said this in another video, but I was like, you know. I would paint it back to, like, a neutral color. Like, I'm not an asshole. Or I'm aware that if you had to pay to repaint it, you're going to charge me for it. That's what my security deposit's for. You know what I mean? So, like, everything about that's fine. But then it's like, so I asked all these fucking questions, right? And then I'm like, so you're just going to move into place. Can I, like, paint and, like, do this and that? And can I put, like, shit up on the wall and, like, whatever? I mean, this is standard shit. Like, painting, you can't, you can sometimes do in apartments. Sometimes you can't. But, like, usually you can hang shit on the walls and, like, whatever. And then, like... I can get fiber internet there, but then they have to run the wire. And I'm like, now I've just got to ask him if I can fucking do that. Like, can I get fiber internet? Like, if they come and do all the stuff? Because, like, I mean, I'm going to pay for it. And then when I leave, you'll have fiber. But then I also feel like when I looked it up, they were, like, waiving the installation fee. So I'm like, is it because they were trying to get me to sign up? Or because fiber was already there? Like, because, like... The person I talked to in chat was like, yeah, well, we got to run the lines and you got to do this. I'm like, yes, but like, do I have to do stuff outside? Like, you're going to have to dig up the ground to run it underneath. Because I don't know if, 
like the HOA is gonna be okay with that. But like if I'm paying for it, like I I just don't know. I mean it's it's a townhouse. The guy owns it, so he should be able to do whatever the fuck he wants. But like I I gotta ask. But I'm gonna wait until we're like doing the walkthrough. I'm gonna be like, hey, so do you know? Did they have fiber? Because I know you can get it here. But like if they didn't have fiber, can I get the fiber done? Like whatever. Like you know what I mean? Oh, anyway. I was like, that'd be awesome. Just saying. Anyway. Like, I'm going to pay to wire it. And it was going to be like a $100 installation fee, but they were waiving it. So, like, like, hi. Anyway. Maybe it's already there. I could cross my fingers. Like, why wouldn't he have just done that when been like, yes, put fiber in. It's a selling point. Like, it is rigged for fiber. That's a selling point. When you're going to, like, rent it out. I mean... There's a lot of places that's already rigged for fiber. Ooh! Yeah, it's a huge point. So, anyway. It's stressful, but it's good stress. Because, like, TikTok clock is ticking, like, two weeks. Two weeks for me. Two fucking weeks, basically. And then, like, well, two to three weeks, depending on, like, when I get movers. But anyway. I sunk into the sofa and looked around the quiet room. <sighs> this place is the realm of the dead. I almost always forget that fact. I'm alone. Koya, I wish you'd come out. Koya, my page, suddenly appeared before me. <laughs> I look so angry. Such an angry kitty! I will follow my master's command, but you can't summon me whenever you'd like. But I get lonely all by myself. You can at least talk to me. Is that a command? No, it's a request. If it's a request, then I can decline, right? Would you really refuse me? What a sneaky way of asking that. <laughs> I feel like he can't have a cute voice. Because <laughs> he looks like an angry cat. Well, I just don't want to boss you around. Do you not like to show yourself? That is not it. It's just that people notice me. Notice you? Are you trying to hide something? That's not it at all, but... Okay. No! I just told you no, Tablet! <laughs> no means no! Tablet, we got an update. No. Another time. Like, 20 minutes fucking later. We've got an update. Fuck you! Not an another time means don't bother me ever again! Go away! Not bother me in 30 minutes! God, what a douche hole. It's like a fucking train wreck! Is this what I said the last time? It's like a fucking train wreck. Every fucking day. That's not it at all, but whatever. If the master likes, I'll come when she's alone. Thank you! Koya, you're very kind. I was worried that I forced him to be here, but I was relieved to see that he didn't seem angry. Or really, because he looks angry. Master, you should sleep. Tomorrow's a big day. That it is. Then I'll take a bath and go to bed. I dragged my tired self up to the bathroom. <laughs> Map select. Oh. His little chibi, his mouth is like in his eyeballs. It's so funny. His poor little chibi is like smush face. <laughs> look, look at Shuratsuki. Ooh, we can talk to Shu. Okay, so chapter, uh, we already did the apprehension thing, so we're supposed to go over here to Makatsuhi, which is funny because we're in Shuratsuki's route, right? Yeah, Shuratsuki, Hira, Akuro, Shu. In Tokitsugu. And then the finale. So we're in Shuratsuki's route. This is the freaking Shuratsuki walkthrough. And yet, we're supposed to go see Akuro. Interesting. It's kind of funny. But I, because I would have assumed if I were trying to get a route. I kind of like this though. That you're like, I can, I can go to all these different places. Like I could go over here if I want. I'm wondering if you can't go... I don't want to try. But I'm wondering if you can't go to any of these other places. Because there's no thing there. Because, like, remember the first time we got to the map to do the apprehension? We had to go to Makatsuhi. Because it was... That's where our little symbol was. So I'm going to guess we can't go to, like, the Firefly Garden or the tree or whatever. So wait, what is that? That's the snow field. That's the Firefly Garden. Okay. I'm trying to go over. That's the... 
Fuji Sakura. And that's the Field of Autumn Leaves. Okay. All right. So anyway. Makatsuhi with Akuro. <laughs> Look at this little angry chibi. It's so cute. <laughs> I can love it. Oh, confirm. Yes, go there. Interesting. Was this our second day? Or are we still on day one? Chapter one, about Makatsuhi. I went to Makatsuhi. The Oni... Sukumogami? Oh. The Oni, Sukumogami, and children call this sector their home. It was a place I wanted to know more about. Sukumogami. I arrived at Azuchi Castle, center of Makatsuhi, to see Hajun. Do we get to see him? <laughs> Hajun was the bro dude! <laughs> Didn't I say that when we saw him in Aguro? I was like, why the fuck is he here? And they were arguing. I'm like, I wonder if that's Hajun. Like, they didn't tell him. <laughs> I fucking love him. <laughs> He's just a defiant douche. <laughs> He's got, like, the flip back douche hair. He's so pretty, though. Oh, my God. I love him. Oh. <laughs> I fucking love all the characters in this. Like, they're all beautiful. Oh, God, this is so great anyway. Uh, what voice do we get? He's like, oh, yeah, whatever. I'm not doing whatever you say. Although, that's kind of like red-haired. Well, I can't remember his name, but... Not Ibaragi, the other dude. Shuten? Shuten? Yeah. Anyway, what was what was Hajun's voice? But anyway. <laughs> How beautiful. Yeah, okay, something like that. I have a water bucket and some soap to clean the parts. We got some newspaper to dry the parts off with, too. Good. Let's start the opening ritual. Well, what's going on here? I thought he was saying, oh, 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 beautiful to me. I'm really disappointed. <laughs> Slight disappointment. I was dazed by what was happening before me. I completely missed my chance to say hello. The Shirai Hajun was previously Oda Nobunaga. As the leader of the Oni, it struck me as odd seeing him gaze at an unopened plastic model box. <laughs> ah! They haven't even noticed me. The opening ritual. I actually totally forgot that they were obsessed with, like, human realm shit. And I was like, what are they opening? <laughs> opening of... <laughs> Like and subscribe! <laughs> oh my god, guys! We're gonna all watch how I peel the plastic off! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that was not what I expected, and I should have known. The three were having so much fun that they didn't notice me standing there. He's <laughs> just joining the conversation. Opening ritual? What are they gonna use all those things for? They mentioned something about cleaning and drying, but I'd seen that box before. Open! Congratulations, boss! Hmm. It's too soon to be happy. Bring the manual. We must check if all the parts are here. I like how very fucking serious he is about opening this fucking, like, bottle. Of whatever it is. Yes, sir! Um, hello everyone! I'm Spacey Akitsu, the new Ayakashimori, remember? I received approval before to see Hajun here in Makatsui, so I'm here now in... Ah! Can't you see? Our boss is busy right now. <laughs> Shuten is so pretty, though. I say, be smart and leave at once. Strangely enough, they're not very intimidating. Shuten and Ibaragi were spreading the manual open so that it could be read easily. Sure. Super intimidating. <laughs> Look at her face. Part A, check. Part B, check. Part C, <laughs> I love him. He's so pretty. He does, have, he, does have, he does have the lawyer douche hair. If you play Tears of Theme, but you know what I'm talking about, every single fucking lawyer and like the friggin' other like law firm has hair like this. And it's like the like, uh, there's just something about this hair. I like it, but there's something about it that they're like, I'm very over the top, dramatic or kind of a douche. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, there's just something about it. But he's so fucking pretty. I can, I can deal with it. Hajun isn't even taking notice of me. Maybe I should come back later. Just before I decided on leaving, Akuro. What are you all doing? Uh -huh. 
What? <laughs> Akuro is the voice of reason here. Akuro suddenly appeared and quickly took the manual away from Shuten and Ibaragi. What are you doing, Akuro? Don't get in the way of the opening ritual! Um, Hajun, might I inform you that we have a guest waiting here? I'm too busy admiring my collection! I have no time for some new hire. Akuro's expression went stern hearing Hajun's words. I fucking love him. <laughs> He's like a man-child! You have all the time in the world. And can't you give her some time to talk? Absolutely not. Ibaragi brought me... Uh, Mitsutada. Ibaragi brought me Mitsutada to take care of already. Mitsutada to take care of already? Okay, I don't know who that is. I'm assuming it's a person. I don't know. Wow. Before Hajun was a Japanese katana sheathed within a beautiful scabbard. This is real, isn't it? Which means that the katana and that plastic model are both collectibles to Hajun? Okay, what? Oh, before Hajun was... Okay. Before him. In front of him. I just did not read that correctly. And I was like, what? Okay, my reading comprehension is just... That's what it is. One was a rare piece fit for a museum. The other was a kid's toy, but Hajun was treating them with the same reverence. Okay, so that's the name of the katana. Okay. Unbelievable. I'm very sorry, Spacey. Let me help you again today. Are you sure? I can always return another day. Look at the way he holds his fan in his pretty hand. I'm just saying. Hajun is hard to predict, so he may not be available for years. That... Doesn't sound good. I am his assistant, so I can be your contact if it's Makatsui you need to talk about. Thank you. Um, I like the fact... I was wondering why, though, because all of our other boys are, like, the Shirei's, right? And Shu is, like, the Shirei of the imaginary realm that nobody knows exists. You know what I mean? But, like, I was wondering... It was funny, because Akuro is not... I'm like, oh, he's only the second in command. I'm like, huh. But this explains it. <laughs> because Hajun is just... Fuck it off in the corner. No gives a... Doesn't give a fuck about anything. I, <laughs> I like that they did that instead of making Akuro like the fucking Shirei, right? Oh, he's like the super serious one. It's like, nope. I just work for a guy who gives fuck all fucks. Like, he doesn't care. He's just over there building models. Don't mind him. You'll probably never see him again. Like, eh, it's like a man child. It's kind of funny. Oh, I enjoy this. Thank you. Um... It brought with me a list of questions that interested me. But what interested me most now was Hajun's peculiar taste in collectibles. Does Hajun like plastic models? Yes, Hajun loves to collect new and curious things, including that item called a plastic model you mention. You see, come to think of it, I recall Shuten and Yakumo talking about games before. But does everyone like playing games? Yes, the Ayakashi and, Makatsu and Makatsuhi find enjoyment in games, anime, and manga. He <laughs> looks a little kind of upset about it. I love his little snaggly tooths, though. He's got these little teeth. They're not like fangs, but they're just like, meaty, meaty little fangs. They kind of hang out. They, they have pretty niche interests. So those on the shelf there are part of Hajun's collection? Yes. All the items stored here are part of his collection and are lined up so that he can enjoy looking at them at any time. Like, it's so funny because they are. They're tiny little fangs, but when he closes his mouth, they're just like, eat me, eat me, eat me, fangs. They're so cute. Are we... What's happening? Akuro led me to an area in the parlor with floor-to-ceiling shelves lining the wall. Oh, my dream. Floor-to-ceiling shelves just filled with my books and my anime things and my knickknacks and all my stuffs. Whoa, is this a gun? The first thing that caught my attention was a black gun stored in an old case. He must be a military commander at heart. He is very interested in weapons. Is this real? Lining the wall were historic pieces of swords and firearms. Yes, all that you see here are real. Akuro explained that the weapons there were all from before the Meiji era of Japan. We can no longer obtain weapons like before. So if Hajun wants one, we usually ask a smith from Kikutsune to, Kikutsune to make one for him. 
Well, the real world has restrictions on weapons and gun control, but knowing they can be made in Sakuratani might prove to be a problem. It's fine. It doesn't mean that what we make has to be real. In fact, that gun you see there is actually a replica. Akuto pointed to a shelf with a variety of firearms. Inside the case are pistols, machine guns, and other handheld guns that would make comic book heroes run. Comic book heroes run. I, that just basically sounds like anybody in Midwest U.S. No, we're fine. You're like, oh, yeah, I, I've, I've been to that state. I, this looks normal. Are we in the United States all of a sudden? Is Sakura Tony like Alabama? No. No, oh, but these here are cute. And these are the ones Yakumo got for us. It seems like they came with candy that was sold in the real world. So these are just toys, then. They didn't look like anything special coming from someone in the real world, but I could see why they were prized there. Is this shelf for monster collectibles? I looked to the side of the miniature guns to see a row of monster figures. Hi, what you doing? No, you can't bite my headset. Nobody wants that. You're supposed to chirp nice and say, Hello! Hello, peoples! Hello! You don't know how to talk, though. Don't bite my headset! <sighs> you can't bite the microphone. You're being a jerk. Hmm. I've seen this black lizard-looking one before. Godzilla? <laughs> and that is a Komor Komora. Oh, so not Godzilla. <laughs> I <laughs> Godzilla's kind of green in me. She's like, I've seen that before! Girl. <laughs> huh? Komora? The one I know was more short and stout, and didn't look so much like a lizard like this one. This one was modeled after the international movie. The original one is over there. So is Komora supposed to be, like, this world's version of Godzilla? I see. Maybe they know a lot about movies and games, too. I never expected them to embrace things like they're from the real world. If you're interested in animal figures, then I have this. Akuro picked up an old wooden statue of a bear, like one you might find in someone's grandparents' house. <laughs> Akuro's like, this is mine. You like old... I like it, yes, it looks like it belongs in your grandmother's house, because, like, and doilies. I like doilies, too. F figure? Hmm. I thought they referred to models that take the form of living beings. I, I suppose. Well, that bear you have there is a figure, I guess. Technically, it could be called a figure, I think. That's quite old. Is it something of historic value? It is old, but it doesn't hold any value from a mortal's point of view. Objects of true value are placed in the treasure hall. Oh my god, we have treasure hall now. Boop, boop, boop. Treasure. Stop peeping, bird. Treasure Hall! A warehouse at Azuchi Castle for Hajun to store the items he collects. Some items he owns are set up as exhibits. Oh my god, he has his own fucking museum. Hi, would you stop? What are you peeping for? People are no peeping. You just sit there and go, beep, 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 beep. It's kind of annoying. It's kind of annoying. I love you, but it's kind of annoying. You just sit there and do that in my ear. What do you want? You want tension? But you won't let me pet you. You won't let me pet you, though, you bite! It was nasty! He's a mean bird! He's the meanest bird ever! I'm gonna leave you here when I move. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. I was trying to give you kisses, but you don't want to. No, stop it. No, stop it! <laughs> I'm trying to give you kisses, but I can't turn my head that far so you don't pet my microphone. Ha <laughs> ha! Stop it! It's not for you! I can't twist my head that way. You guys sit on the other shoulder. I would never leave you here when I move. I love you too much. And the new people wouldn't like you because you're mean. Treasure hall? You keep treasures there? Indeed. Though to be precise, the storage is mostly used to store junk. Junk? Hajun has a habit of collecting things that he's taking a liking to. And it's proven quite a challenge to keep making space for them. Akuro sighed and then let out a frown. Challenge must be an understatement. I let out a chuckle seeing Akuro grieve so obviously about their storage situation. I then asked him another question. Do you have a collection, Akuro? Why is this place like a maze? Uh... Why is this place like a maze? That makes sense. Because do you have a collection, Akuro? Would show to Akuro that we are interested in him. 
I mean, I am interested in you, but we're not supposed to ask you that question now. You have to wait. We're going on somebody else's route. So we ask the not a personal question so that we don't get into his route. By the way, why is this place like some kind of maze? What do you mean? This room is away from the entrance, and the place looks like it went through extensions, which made the place feel like a maze. I made it here somehow, but the place all looks the same, so it was still harder than expected. Akuro nods in agreement at my statement, as I remember how confusing Azuchi Castle is with its plank hallways. Ugh, you're right. I'm used to the place, so that point of view didn't dawn on me. Perhaps it's because of Hajun. Ah... He was the feudal lord, Oda Nobunaga, so he designed this castle. I believe this place was made like the real Azuchi Castle, just with additional fortifications to complete it to form. I see. So he made this castle to be what he wanted before. A castle with political and defensive properties. It actually is really funny, though, every time they keep bringing up that he's Nobunaga, right? Because you just now, every time now, you picture Hajun in your head and you're like, he's over there with his, like, whooshy, more modern hair. Yeah, oh my god, I gotta put this plastic model together. And you're like, this is just somehow, it's just somehow funnier? It makes him funnier. It's more amusing. But Sakuratani was never attacked and it doesn't have any political significance. And then again, it's entirely possible he built this place just for his amusement. Yeah. Amusement? He wasn't able to make a castle out of stone like this place back in the real world. So it's possible he thinks everyone would be surprised seeing him build this castle here. I see. I haven't had the chance to speak with Hajun, but I think Akuro's opinion is right. Which means Akuro must go through a lot here. But thanks to Akuro, I was able to learn a lot about Hajun and the Oni who call this sector home. Maybe I can ask Akuro if something else comes up. Of course, that just means I'd be bothering Akuro, but still. He is my only real resource here, so there isn't much to do about it. Oh, okay, bye! I like how you just fade away beautifully. Map select! Oh, oh, and now we can't go back there! Okay, where are we going now? Uh, do we go everywhere? I'm just gonna go... Oh, we do. We go to everybody. Oh. Interesting. Oh! Oh, and then we go back to... Sh wow, we go... Holy crap. We go through fucking so much in the map before we get to chapter two. I don't know why I thought that, like, chapter two was way sooner, but... Yeah. Oh, God, I just got a cramp in my foot. Hold on. Um, I used my toe to sweat my things. So, yeah, we go to see Hira, and then we go to Shuratsuki. Oh, God, no. Whoops. Back. Back. I didn't mean to do that. And then we go to Shu, and then we go to Sami. And then we go back to Shiratsuki. Like, we're bouncing all over this motherfucking joint. There might be other scenes in between, but... Oh, uh, we're supposed to go to... Uh, Hira right now. <laughs> his chibi is so weird looking. Is that... Oh, no, that's like his nose. Okay. I. It's just so odd because you think that, like, that little pink spot is his mouth. And then you're like, why is his mouth, like, eh? way up between his eyes that's his nose his little mouth is way down on the bottom that makes more sense but it's weird because i don't know if you saw that as a nose first but now when i'm like it's like it was i thought it was his mouth now you can't not see it being a mouth i'm getting used to it if i look at his little but it's just it's it's mind-boggling anyway yes we won't be able to get through this whole scene though because we only have like six minutes so I came to Amatsuna so I could learn a little more about Sakuratani. Amatsuna is led by Hira, the Tengu, and, and full of water Ayakashi like Kappa, Ningyo, and Tanuki. What worries me is that Hira, the Shire, isn't a very cooperative individual. I hope I don't have a repeat situation of the one I had with Hajun over in Makatsuhi. But I guess even back then, Akuro was able to take me around and guide me, so I managed. Oh, so this is interesting... Because what if we came here first? You know what I mean? I was... So the weird thing is, is I was like, huh. I was assuming that, like, it would play this independently. But it just said that, like, mentioned... I wonder if it does change. So maybe if we came here first and then saw Akuro, if it would pop in something about seeing her. You know what I mean? 
I wonder if it's that dynamic. Interesting. Takao seemed to handle things a lot more than Hira did, so maybe I'll just plan on relying on Takao here. So I headed to Hira's residence, Amawa Mansion. Hey, Hira. The Ayakashimori's here. Remember when Sami called with a weird request about explaining Amatsuna to the new hire because that's what a Shire is supposed to do? Hey, he... <laughs> um... <laughs> Takao's face! Hira continued to lay there, but then started rolling around, ignoring Takao. He soon gained momentum and rolled away. <laughs> There may be a lot of parts that I'm fucking confused. I'm like, I don't know what's happening. Oh, okay. But like, it's the game is still pretty fucking amusing. I didn't expect a big welcome, and I thought he'd throw this on Takao, or just find a reason to send me home. I never thought I'd watch a Shire, someone representing a sector of people, rolling around on the floor. He's rolling away! Hira, stop it! Don't run! Yeah. Takao stood in the way as Hira tried to roll away. Without hesitation, he kicked Hira. Oh, are you okay? <laughs> Hira looks so mad. He ignored my question. After seeing the kick, I couldn't help but ask him. <laughs> Look how mad he is. <laughs> He's so mad. I mean, Takao's mad, but like... <laughs> understandable. I feel like the kick was a little excessive. Takao saw how I reacted and responded to it with a shameful expression. Don't worry. Despite how he looks, he's actually very sturdy. My kick hardly phases him at all. R really? He's right. He seems totally fine. Ever since I arrived, his eyes have been closed most of the time. He might even be sleeping. <laughs> his eyes are closed again. Hira, I won't let you get away today. You're going to tend to her. I don't wanna... <laughs> like how there's just a long ass pause of like uh, uh, I don't wanna <laughs> He spoke Though they were words of denial, I haven't heard Hira speak since I've been here. I was moved just to hear him respond. I don't wanna my ass! You haven't gotten up since you went to Tamamo's yesterday! Get some exercise and show her Amatsuna! I don't want to. This isn't just a matter of staying in. He hadn't gotten up one time. Look <laughs> how fucking lazy he is. I had a feeling he was like this, but I didn't know it was this bad. It was concerning. Um, Hira, are you feeling sick at all? You have to be, right? Otherwise, you wouldn't be sleeping all day. Are you serious? He's always like this. That's right. I'm sick. You should hurry and go home. <laughs> Stop lying, you idiot! <laughs> Whoa! Takao kicked him again, and Hiro went rolling on the floor once more. Ugh. Ugh. Fine. It'll be impossible to move this bastard today. You finally get it right. Takao, you don't give up, do you? God, I'm so tired of the back and forth. You asshole! The minute you realize you don't have to go, you start talking like crazy. You want another kick? Do as you please. It won't affect me anyway. Bastard! This is how you treat the very person doing you a favor? <laughs> I love them so much. Considering how he was unfazed, even when getting kicked, I doubted he was ill. That in mind, I wish Hira could have shown me around. But even Takao, his own assistant, had given up on him. Even if I pressure him to show me around, to actually do some work, I'm sure it'll be in vain. I'm sorry. Okay, Takao, could you show me around, Amatsuna? Sure, I could fly around and show you everything, but maybe humans prefer to walk. What do you think? So, Takao and I decided to take a walk around Amatsuna. Okay, so we'll stop here. Because we're basically at times. So I knew we weren't going to get through this part, but at least, but with um, Akuro, it was just like constant going. And this one, at least there was a slight break. So we'll pick back up getting the tour from Takao, the Takao tour. 
uh, in the next part. So I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.